Hi, my name is Lauren, and I am the Public Services Coordinator at Bluffton Public Library in Bluffton, Ohio. Um, today, I'm going to talk about how to bring up the Ohio Digital Library using your Bluffton Public Library card. And there are several different options for what to check out and what device you can use to check those out on. So to start, I'll take you through the process of checking out a digital material using your computer. So to start with, you'll go to our website, loftonpubliclibrary.org. There are two ways to get to the Ohio Digital Library. You can go directly to it down on that menu below in the green. Or you can use the menu at the top, use your library, and then choose ebooks and more. This gives you information about different materials you can check out, and then there are some links to some different collections within the library. Here are the different collections you can see down here. There's ebooks, audiobooks, streaming video, collections for kids and for teens, um, and we have also added magazines to that mix. So I just clicked on ebooks and audiobooks, and you can see the homepage of the Ohio Digital Library here. Um, and I want to point out that here is a link to Libby, the app I'm going to talk about later. As we'll talk about a little bit later, there's an OverDrive app and then there's a Libby app with mobile devices. Um, so you can see over here that you can download it using Windows 10. Google Play or the App Store for iOS devices. Um, and again, we'll talk about that later. Here are some different ideas that the Ohio Digital Library gives you for what to check out, what to view, listen to, or read. You'll also see um, if you hover over these menu items at the top here, there are other ways to figure out what you want to view or listen to or read. A lot of times I already know what author or title I want to look up, so um, I'll just go to this search over here on the top right. I'll just search for one of my favorites here. And just click on it. You can see on the left here, there are different ways to narrow down your search. If I only wanted available now titles, I would click here. And, and what that means is that there are different copies of each record. So just as you would have to place a hold on a physical copy of a book um, within our consortium, you have to do the same with their e-materials because each copy is um, purchased within our consortium. Um, so you can see that all the copies of the audiobook of To Kill a Mockingbird here um, are all checked out. So what I would have to do is place a hold and um, then it asks for me to input my email and they send me an email of um, when that comes in. Um, same here with the ebook. It's not available. Um, so I'll just show you the second one here by Harper Lee, Ghost Set and Watchmen. I'll show you the process of borrowing it. So to sign in with your library card, you go over here, choose your library. I'm gonna find Bluffton. And then you put in that long card number on the back of your library card. Let me see if I can remember it off the top of my head here. And then when you um, sign up for a library card, you should have created a four digit four digit number that is your PIN and that will act as your password. If you for some reason didn't set that up or if you don't remember what it is, just give us a call and we can help you out with that. And then I'm gonna scroll down and sign in. Alrighty, so then you can see that I'm gonna this out. It gives me some options. Let's say I think I'm a super fast reader and I'm only gonna do it on seven days. And hit borrow. You have a couple different options for how to read it now. 
Um, you can read it now with Kindle, and I'll talk a little bit more about that when I do a separate video about um, reading them on your mobile devices. Um, but you can also read now in your browser or download as an EPUB file ebook. I usually do EPUB ebook because um, that way I don't have to use an internet connection. So if I'm taking my laptop somewhere and I want to read, um, or if I, for some reason, didn't have Wi-Fi on my computer at home, I can just download it and read it directly from my computer rather than needing to read it in my internet browser. Okay. So you can see down here it's downloading for me. I'm going to click on that download for Go Set a Watchman. This is what pops up for me. And this program is called Adobe Digital Editions. I will leave a link in the description um, for a free download of that program. And you can utilize that to open up your book and read it. Um, mine is still loading right now, but I would normally just click on this and be able to look at it and start reading it. And using this program again is great because then you don't have to have Wi-Fi or an internet connection in order to read it. If you're okay reading that in your internet browser and you don't need to um, save that onto your computer, let's go back here. If you saw I went to my account and then loans there. And now let me show you what it looks like when you read it in your browser. Alrighty, I'm going to use arrows on my keyboard to go through. And each of these are um, links that you can click on in order to jump through farther into the book. When I click in the middle of the screen, that gives me some more options. Um, it shows me where I'm at in the course of reading this book. Up here, these lines changes how my screen looks. It can be two pages or one. Go back to two pages. Um, I can set bookmarks. I can search through it for a certain word or I can hit these three lines here to um, do some other settings as well. Um, right here, especially, this is what I like, the reader settings. I can make the text larger, which is important for a lot of our patrons. And you can also play with the lighting here. You can make it sepia or dark. And there's some different font options as well. So you can see reading an ebook is extremely customizable and it's free through our library. Now let's say you were done with that book. I've already read this one, so I'm going to return it right now. You can hit return, choose return title, and it's sent back so someone else can check that out that title. Well, thank you so much for um, listening to this. Let me know if you have any questions um, and please stay tuned for the next video where I'll talk about checking out items with the Ohio Digital Library on your mobile.